and welcome to Need to Know. Today, we're going to talk about NFTs or non-fungible tokens. NFTs are a hot topic in the world of art collectibles and digital assets. They've been making headlines and have even sold for millions of dollars. But what are they and how do they work? We will answer this for you and of course what you really need to know how to get started with NFTs. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Let's begin. What is an NFT? In recent years, a new type of digital asset has taken the world by storm, the NFT. But what exactly is an NFT and why are people paying millions of dollars for them? You may have seen headlines about NFTs in your newsfeed, or perhaps you've even been curious about buying one yourself. At its simplest, an NFT is a unique, non-interchangeable token that exists on a blockchain network such as Ethereum. Think of an NFT as a digital certificate of ownership that is stored on a decentralized database. This means that NFTs are not physical objects, but rather they represent ownership of a digital asset, such as artwork, music, or even tweets. When an NFT is sold, the transaction is recorded on the blockchain, making it publicly accessible and transparent. This means that anyone can verify the authenticity of the NFT and its ownership history, which is why NFTs are often touted as a way to create scarcity and value for digital content. One of the biggest questions surrounding NFTs is why people are willing to pay such exorbitant prices for them. After all, an NFT is just a digital certificate of ownership, right? Some of the most expensive NFTs ever sold are Number 1. Every Days The first 5,000 days by Beeple sold for $69 million in March 2021 at a Christie's auction. This digital artwork is a college of images that the artist, Beeple, created over 5,000 consecutive days. Number 2. Pax The Merge the Merge officially became the most expensive NFT ever sold on December 2nd, 2021, with almost 30,000 collectors pitching together for a total cost of $91.8 million. Number 3. Clock is a piece created by Pac and Julian Assange and almost acts literally as a clock, counting the days that WikiLeaks founder Assange has been imprisoned, selling for $52.7 million. Number 4. CryptoPunk5822 sold for $23.7 million and continued in their super expensive alien style. Number 5. CryptoPunk7523 sold for $11.75 million. CryptoPunk have an impressive 5 of the top 10 most expensive NFTs ever sold. It's worth noting that the prices of NFTs can be highly volatile and can fluctuate rapidly based on market demand and other factors. Nonetheless, these sales demonstrate the significant sums of money that some collectors are willing to pay for unique, digital assets. There are a few different factors that contribute to the high prices of NFTs. For one thing, the scarcity and uniqueness of an NFT can create a sense of exclusivity and status for the buyer. Owning a one-of-a-kind piece of digital art, for example, can be seen as a symbol of wealth and taste, and in some scenarios, buyers are willing to pay high prices simply because they believe that the value of NFTs will continue to rise in the future. Additionally, the blockchain technology that underpins NFTs provides a level of transparency and authenticity that can be appealing to collectors. Because NFTs are stored on a decentralized database, anyone can verify the ownership history and authenticity of an NFT, which can increase its value. Of course, not everyone agrees that NFTs are a wise investment. Some critics argue that the market for NFTs is highly speculative and driven by hype, rather than actual intrinsic value. How do NFTs work? NFTs are created on a blockchain, which is a decentralized ledger that records all transactions. When an artist or creator wants to sell an NFT, they mint it, which means they create a new token on the blockchain. The token represents ownership of the digital asset, and it's verified by the blockchain making it impossible to counterfeit. Once the NFT is created, it can be bought and sold just like any other asset. However, because NFTs are unique, their value is determined by the market, just like any other collectible item. As we have demonstrated, we've seen NFTs sell for millions of dollars, making them a hot commodity for artists and collectors alike. Blockchain. We appreciate this is an unusual concept, so here is a bit more detail for you. Blockchain technology is an innovative and revolutionary way to store, transfer, and secure data. It is a distributed ledger technology that is secure, transparent, and immutable. The records stored on a blockchain are permanent and cannot be altered or tampered with. The data stored on a blockchain is decentralized, meaning it is not stored in a single location or owned by any one organization. Blockchain technology is the foundation of non-fungible tokens. NFTs are digital assets that are unique and non-interchangeable. They are used to tokenize digital artwork, collectibles, gaming items, and more. NFTs are stored on the blockchain and registered to an individual's digital wallet, 
They are held in a secure, decentralized, and immutable way that makes them highly desirable. There are some environmental concerns as mining is a key process for the blockchain system, and it requires a large amount of energy to power the computers and maintain the network. This is because the miners must solve complex mathematical puzzles in order to create new blocks of data and ensure the security of the network. As more people use the blockchain, the amount of energy required to maintain it continues to grow, and with that comes a greater environmental cost. The environmental impact of blockchain technology is not just limited to the energy required for mining. The computers used for mining need to be constantly updated and upgraded, which requires the production of more hardware. This additional hardware requires materials and energy to manufacture, further contributing to the environmental cost. But why are NFTs so popular? Well, for one, they allow artists and creators to monetize their digital creations in a way that wasn't possible before. NFTs give them ownership and control over their work, and they can earn royalties every time their NFT is resold. Additionally, NFTs appeal to collectors who are looking for unique and rare items to add to their collections. They can also be used to store digital data, making them useful for businesses looking to secure their data. Challenges Facing NFTs While NFTs have opened up a plethora of new possibilities, there are also some disadvantages that one should consider before investing. Some argue that they contribute to the growing wealth gap, and as we have covered, they are not environmentally friendly because the blockchain technology requires a lot of energy to operate. Some further considerations are, NFTs are highly volatile and their price can fluctuate drastically. This means that it is very easy to make money, but it is also very easy to lose it. Additionally, due to the lack of regulation, anyone can create an NFT, which can make it difficult to differentiate between reputable and scams. Finally, it is important to note that NFTs are not widely accepted yet. This means that you may have difficulty in converting or trading them. As such, you should be aware that your NFT may be hard to sell or liquidate if you ever wish to do so. How you can get started with NFTs The simplest way to get started with NFTs is to purchase them from the online marketplaces that specialize in digital collectibles and assets. Here, you can find a variety of unique and rare items, many of which are limited edition and available only as NFTs. Once you have found the asset you want, you can pay with cryptocurrency or fiat, and then have the token stored in your wallet. Another way to participate in the growing NFT ecosystem is by minting and selling your own items. You can use a platform like CryptoKitties to create and mint your own digital art pieces or collectibles, or you can use specialized tools like Mintable to create non-fungible tokens that can be used with real-world products. Before you make your own item, however, be sure to familiarize yourself with the potential legal implications of selling tokens. Finally, the biggest and most lucrative way to participate in the NFT economy is to get involved in the decentralized applications dApps that use NFTs. These dApps enable you to use NFTs to play, buy, and sell all kinds of assets and items, from virtual housing and land to digital artwork and collectibles. So in conclusion, there's no doubt that NFTs have disrupted the art world, but it remains to be seen whether this is a sustainable trend or just a passing fad. NFTs are a new and exciting way to buy and sell digital assets. They offer unique benefits to artists and collectors, but they also come with some potential drawbacks. As with any new technology, it's important to weigh the pros and cons and make an informed decision. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with everything you need to know. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.